Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. And today we're going to be working on the Marguerite Miller Challenge for week 31. So the prompts are translucent paper, so I have this vellum, something royal, so I've got this crown, I've got the emperor's new clothes photo here, and a queen in a queue, and a picnic item, I've got this watermelon, and uh, some ants. I thought they were a good picnic item. And then we needed some... Uh, something shiny. I've got this blue paper and these gold brads that I'm going to attach the vellum with. And looking for, I forgot to show the shoes. Um, I've got some shoes that I have to put up too. So, all right, we're going to start out by attaching my shiny blue paper. I also picked it because it is royal blue and uh, they were looking for something royal. So I thought that was two things for the price of one, as they say. Paper was a little thick, so it's a little, little hard to try to glue down here. All right, so the something inspired by a fairy tale, I chose the Emperor's New Clothes uh, from a fairy tale book I have, and I thought to give him a little privacy, we'll uh, put a little vellum on top of him here and get get him covered up a little bit modesty, right? So I thought that was a good, I, good use of the something translucent and I know how hard it is to glue vellum down so putting the shiny gold brads in there thought was a great way to attach the vellum and getting something bonus something shiny again using things for more than one item speaking of that using the cap of the glue to push down the brads <laughs> very helpful too okay that works and we'll go ahead and glue that down I hope your day is going well. It was kind of humid and rainy out here today. Last bit of warmth, I think, for the season. My husband spent the morning before it rained vacuuming, not vacuuming up, <laughs> mowing up the leaves before they got wet. So they're starting to definitely fall. All right, so that seems to be glued down pretty good. All right, so I was thinking about putting the crown on the emperor's head because he's the emperor's royal and I think emperors wear crowns, I don't know, but this one's going to wear a crown. A little bit big for him, but he'll grow into it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think i got to figure out some way to get this vellum on the bottom done. I only have two brads figure out something there. All right, so we're going to get the watermelon. I think I'll put it down here on the shiny blue as my picnic item. Whoops. And we'll add the ants heading toward the watermelon. And I only got one ant, so I think I need to track down a few more here. I think I have some more in my book. Yeah, there's some right there. There's some tiny ones. It's hard to get out of this page here. All right. Kind of make uh, the three ants kind of like Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Inspired by a fairy tale. It's the three ants. Sure, why not, right? Uh, Goldilocks and the three ants. <laughs> new, new kind of fairy tale. All right, there we go. Picnic item, watermelon. Done. All right, so we'll put the shoes, and that's probably a good spot. That'll hold. I'll use the shoes to hold on the vellum, and it kind of ties in with the, uh, you can see that uh, sh bottom of the shoe of the emperor, and it's down by the feet. So, yeah, that kind of works good. I like it. All right, so I got my queen in a queue here. That'll be something royal. Okay. Alright, so usually when I'm done with the front, um, anything that I have left over, I will stick on the back of the page. So I'm going to flip this over and stick some stuff in the back. And I got a little bit of my Royal blue, shiny paper. We'll stick that. It's hard to tell if you saw a flash of it, but uh, it definitely was something shiny. Doesn't look as shiny on camera, though. 
Okay, we'll put the prompts down. Okay, I think that's stuck pretty well. All right, and I found this other sticker. This is, um, I think, Little Red Riding Hood. So we'll put her on here as something inspired by a um, fairy tale. And then I've got a red shoe to do with a shoe prompt. And I have a strawberry, which is pretty good for the picnic item. So we'll get the strawberry up there for picnic item, and I think I'm going to add the other watermelon I have here. I was thinking about adding the popsicle, but I wasn't quite sure if that was pic picnic item enough. <laughs> okay. I think that worked out well. The red and blue and Little Red Riding Hood. Little red and the blue in the paper and the red and blue on the watermelon. Yeah, nice combo. Okay, I think that's pretty well stuck down. All right, so I always put a uh, so Tim Holt snippet on uh, the front page, and I found one that says where only the imagination can go. I thought that was great for the Emperor's New Clothes because. Um, that was a good imagination kind of story. Imagine how you have clothes. So we're going to put that down um, underneath him. Yeah, where only the imagination can go. Perfect. All right, well, that is going to be it for this week's Margaret Miller Challenge Week 31. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit that like button. Um, would be also very helpful. And as usual, I hope you have a wonderful and creative day. Thanks now.